Hey everyone, it's Yoslin and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a necklace. I'm going to make a blue necklace with a little star charm in the middle. So I had these Brandy Melville earrings and somehow the charm fell off. And I know you can put the charm back, but since the charm fell off, I bought a new pair since I thought I lost it and then I found the star. So now I just have this star that I don't need anymore because I got a new pair of earrings. <laughs> That's a long story, but basically I have this little star charm and I'm going to be putting it on a necklace. So I'm going to be using this stretchy string I got at Joann's and these beads that I also got at Joann's. I have a big pack. I'm going to be using these clear ones, but they kind of have like a metallic look to them. And I'm also using these white seed beads and these blue beads right here. And I might be adding a couple of this one, just a few of them, into the necklace. And you're also going to need a clasp. The only thing I didn't get at Joann's was this little star charm, and it is from Brandy Melville. But without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to start off by measuring this. So I make sure that the necklace is going to be long enough. So I'm just going to make it about that long. Getting my mini scissors, and I'm going to cut the elastic. And now I'm going to add the clasp on one side. And a lot of you guys comment saying that I should buy the clasps that you just like crimp onto the string. And I'm going to be getting those really soon. I just haven't gone to Joann's. So that's why I haven't gotten them. But yeah, usually I just use these and they work pretty good. You just tie them on the elastic that you're using. But I am going to get some of those other ones that you guys have been talking about that way I wouldn't have to like tie them on I just clamp them on and they stay and then I'm going to cut off the excess and now I can start my necklace and I was actually on Urban Outfitters website and they had a necklace and that's kind of what inspired me to make this I'll insert the photo right here but the necklace was $18 and it is a really cute necklace but I thought instead of buying it, I could just make it since it does look pretty similar to the beads that I have here. And like I said, I got all the supplies at Joann's. It's not going to be identical because mine's going to be like a full necklace of the beads and theirs is just kind of like in the middle. But it's going to be pretty close considering that the beads are really similar. All my beads here and I'm going to tell you guys the pattern so you can make this. You're going to put four colored beads and one of these like silver beads. And that's what you're going to do throughout the whole necklace. So that's why I said I'll probably use some of these ones right here. So I kind of moved the camera so now you guys can see my desk. And I'm sorry about this right here. I was painting yesterday. But now I'm going to start putting the beads on. And like I said, you're going to want four of the colored beads. And then you're going to put one of the silver beads in between the colors. So I'm doing four of these blue beads right now. And I'm just using this blue. It's actually really similar to my nail color. But I'm just putting this on the string. And then before I change the color, I'm going to be doing this like silver metallic color. It's actually clear, but it looks silver. And I'm putting that on the string and then I'm going to change the color to this white. So I'm just doing four white beads. And now we just have that little bead that just separates the colors. So I'm going to do another one of that one. I'm also going to be adding these ones. They might be a little bit too big because these beads are like smaller so I'm gonna try like finding the smaller ones that way I don't use like the big bulky beads because I don't want them to be like really different in size I'm adding another silver bead and now you're just going to repeat this step throughout the whole necklace So I was editing my video and I went to go insert all of my clips so I could edit them and for some reason the part where I put the star charm on the necklace and just finished this whole side of the necklace was there but you couldn't see anything I was doing. The screen was just blank white. I don't know why that happened because when I was filming the video I could see what I was filming so I don't know what happened but you could still hear my voice but there's no point 
of inserting the clip if you're just staring at a white screen and listening to my voice. So I'm just going to tell you guys what I did because that clip is like no good anymore. I just deleted it. But basically what I did for this necklace is you guys saw me do this half and I just added the little star charm and I tied a knot right here. That way the star charm would lay flat. It just lays flat like that instead of laying like this. That's basically all I did for the star charm and I did the exact same thing on this side that I did on this side. I just did the four colored beads and then the one silver bead and that's all I did for the necklace. I was recording but like I said the screen was all white so I can't really insert that in so I'm sorry about that but that's basically all I did for the necklace. Okay so I'm all done with the necklace and it just looks like this. I've already tried it on and it fits and then I'm going to get my clasp and then put this through. And then I'm going to tie a knot. I finished triple knotting this and now I'm just going to cut off the excess. And now my necklace is done. I just changed my top so you guys can see what the necklace looks like. And here is the necklace. It just looks like this. And that is the little pattern that it has. And it just has the little star at the end of it. And now I'm going to put this on. The necklace on and it just looks like this. It has the little star and then all the patterns. And if you want your star to lay flat like this and not lay like that, like turned, all you have to do is tie a knot like right here. When you tie a knot, it just makes the little charm sit like in the front instead of going turned. So that's what I did. That way my star wasn't like this and then you wouldn't be able to tell it's a star. So that's why I ended up tying a knot right there. But yeah, that is the finished necklace and I really like how it turned out. I think it looks kind of similar to the one that I was like inspired by that I showed you guys earlier, but it is different because I did use like different beads in it. I decided to use a little bit of green beads. But yeah, I really like this necklace and if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!